So I'm turning 24 today and uh, that's it. End of video. <laughs>
and research because it's been a lot of fun so far. Another goal would be keep making YouTube videos. I've been making YouTube videos since my last semester of college when I was 21 years old. That's when I first started making YouTube videos. And yeah, I want to keep doing it simply just because it's fun. I have no idea what is going to come about of this, but I know I enjoy doing it. And so that's why I will keep doing it. Unless I get canceled. <laughs> Are people still doing that these days? Canceling each other? Is that even a thing? I want to play more soccer. So a few of you guys may know this about me, but I have played soccer since I was like seven years old and it was a big part of my life growing up. And so I started playing soccer here in med school like two weeks ago actually, and it was a lot of fun. I was sore for like a couple days after because I was activating muscles that I have not used in years. Something that I may have not discussed here on this channel before, but I'll just bring it up now because I feel like it, is that one day when I have enough courage, I would like to try stand-up comedy. I love comedy. I think from those of you who watch my videos, I try to be comedic. Hopefully you guys are laughing. See, the thing is with YouTube is that you don't have a live audience. So I have no idea what people's reactions are. Unlike stand-up comedy, when you go to a show, you get real-time feedback, right? Between you and the audience because you guys are interacting with each other. So you know right away when you say something, if something is funny. But then whereas on YouTube, I, I can't see your guys' reaction when you watch a video and it's edited, right? So I can add certain edits that will make myself a lot funnier or maybe not as funny. Whereas when you do stand up your live. But I sort of like that. I like the impromptu live version of comedy. And when I make these videos, I was asked if I have a script or it's impromptu. And it's 10% scripted, 90% just me talking. The 10% is there because I need to have some sort of direction for the video. And I probably won't sit down to film a video, right? Unless I have some sort of purpose or else it's just me rambling on for an inordinate amount of time, which is I guess what I'm doing right now because there's no purpose of this video. What was I even saying again? Right, I want to try stand-up comedy. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm going to be good at it or not. It's fine if you think I'm not going to be good at it. I appreciate your honesty. And I don't know if you guys know that quote. Maybe it's not even a quote. Maybe it's just something that I read in passing and completely cannot remember where it is from. Maybe it is from a fortune cookie. But at different stages in your life, it requires different versions of yourself. I guess because, you know, we're part of this system growing up, the different stages of your life are already mapped out for you, right? They're already delineated. So in high school, you have this four-year block where you're in high school and you're trying to get into college. And then once you're in college, you have this four-year block to do well in college so that you can either get into grad school or you can get a good job, whatever that may be. And then after that, you no longer have this set period of time that has been marked for you, right? Unless you go to med school, which is four years, then your track is sort of set up for you. Or if you go to say a grad school program, then you have five or six years in your PhD that's marked out for you. What I'm trying to say is that in these different blocks of your life, you become a different person. And as it should, because you're evolving, it would sort of suck if you stayed stagnant and remained the same person as you were in high school today. I mean, I'm sure there's people who are awesome in high school and if they remain the same, they would continue to be awesome. For the, for the vast majority of us laymen, we have improved from our lame high school selves, right? And I was thinking about how I evolved since high school and college and now. And I really feel like I'm the same personality, but the way I approach things is very different if that makes sense. Like I think in high school, I was always sort of relaxed, I guess. And then in college, I was sort of relaxed and now I'm still relaxed. But the mentality of how I approach things is different. So in high school, you know, every little thing mattered. Even in the classes, everything mattered. When I played sports, everything mattered. And then I got into college and things still mattered, but you begin to be more choosy about the things that matter. 
you become more optimal with your time and you begin to prioritize certain things that are more important to your well-being. And then now that, you know, I've left college and then I worked and then I am in med school, I have learned to prioritize the things that are truly important to me, whatever that is. And then whatever else comes after that, I just sort of let go. So in summary, I, I let go a lot more now because I know I have accomplished doing the things that I already want to achieve. I have no idea what I just said. And I think that just comes with knowing what you want. Once you know what you want, a lot of things will become much more clear. And so essentially what I'm trying to say is that you try less not meaning that you don't work hard, but you're working against a lesser resistance because you know what you want and you love doing the thing that you want. All right, that's all I got. I want to go watch stand-up comedy. Sam Morrill's stand-up special is now out on Netflix and I wanna watch it while sipping apple cider. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will see you around.